welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Ajian, talking to you from the beautiful downtown Christiansted Boardwalk. Tonight's top stories focuses on a 27-year police dispatcher who helped aid and abed one of the fugitives from Golden Grove Prison last weekend. News Channel 8's Wes Small brings you the story. A 27-year police dispatch veteran has been arrested. That in connection with aiding and abetting 33-year-old escape prisoner Carlos Burgos. At 1.50 this morning, 45-year-old Juliana Simmons Burgos, the wife of 33-year-old Carlos Burgos, was charged with accessory after the fact, meaning that she provided help to Carlos after he escaped from Golden Grove. Also, uh, she was charged with um, a felony count and also another count. In all, she faces 13 years in prison. The judge, Superior Court Judge Donahue, for the defense, Attorney Hannibal O'Brien, for the prosecution, Mr. Cornelius Evans. Ms. Borgos was placed on 40, Ms. Borgos was placed on $75,000 bail and released with her own recognizance. Then this morning here at Superior Court at nine o'clock facing Judge Judge Donahue, she was um, released with a third party custodian as her family and friends put up two pieces of property uh, up for her bail. So there you have that, an advisement of rights in front of Superior Court Judge Donahue, 27 years on the police force as a dispatcher, allegedly she aided and abetted 33-year-old Carlos Burgos after he escaped from Golden Grove. Now she faces 13 years in prison. Mr. Burgos also had a 30-year-old uh, woman, you might remember, that was arrested in Harvey, uh, St. Croix. She has four children, four children now with a relative, but they could be staying with human services because that lady as well uh, could be faced uh, with these charges of aiding and abetting. So that's two people so far after this latest prison break that have now been arrested with helping the prisoners. Still, we are looking for Derek Fredericks. He is the last of the escaped prisoners still on the loose. He has been out for one week. It was one week ago today that he escaped with two other prisoners. If you see Derek, he is 5'11", 160 pounds, slimly built, with tattoos on his arm and his back. Also, it's a $10,000 reward for Mr. Frederick's capture. We have to remind you, in the words of Chief Oakland Benta, if you aid and abet these prisoners, you will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. If you see Mr. Frederick's, you need to call 778-2211 or 911 in front of Superior Court. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8.